and hello my Aquarius it is Tori the whole dealer of guided intuition and I am here to do your monthly spiritual guidance from spirit your guides Jesus Allah the universe whatever it is you believe in love muffin this is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of June so if you are new to my channel welcome and if you are returning hello I know that our setting looks a little bit different but what i wanted to do is i really wanted to allow spirit to flow and just give you any information that you really need to focus on and know about the month of june before we actually go into your spiritual guidance so once i'm done here i'll cue it in and we'll go over love your finances um anything that spirit wants you to know that will bring you more fulfillment this month all of that good stuff okay um, so Aquarius, keep in mind that this may resonate with some and it may not, okay? If it doesn't, don't worry. There are so many sweet souls that are sharing their gifts. You are going to find someone who picks up on your energy, okay? But all of my information on how to contact me, reach me, guided intuition, you can find in the description box below. Now that I have everything out of the way, as you can see from this title, Aquarius, June is going to be a monumental, I hope I said that word right, month for you. A very big, important month for you. I really feel like you're making big moves. Um, for some of you, it's physical moves. Um, I feel like you're going to be um, contemplating if you're going to be leaving, moving away, and then honestly moving away from anything that's not serving you in your life. I really just feel like you're done. You know what I'm saying? Like you're done. Um like how do i how do i explain this there's a newness okay in your life anything that's outdated anything that's not serving you anything that's not for your your highest good you're leaving it alone you're walking away from it you're moving away okay and you're really focusing on what makes you happy aquarius you happy and i really feel like for a long time you have put others before you and in the month of June, you're all about big moves for you, doing what makes you happy. So with that being said, I want to just allow spirit to flow and just see what is it, spirit, you would like to tell Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising concerning the month of June. What would you like Aquarius to know for the month of June? What would you like Aquarius to know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like I told you, y'all transforming. <laughs> So um, we have the queen of arrows, which is a swan. And I really feel like this is you. Um, there has been a lot of things that have happened in your life, um, Aquarius, where you have emerged out of, okay, that you have transformed. You know, like from the ugly duckling to the swan, um, this is truly where you're sitting at in the month of June. You've let a lot of things go. You've moved on from a lot of things. I really feel like all that you have endured Okay, throughout your life period, it took a lot of strength. And I feel like this good karma that's coming your way, there's going to be a major opportunity for you to move, to make a big move, something that you desire, something that you want. I know that it may be a little scary. Um, I'm about to call you a Sagittarius, Lord, <laughs> Aquarius. But I really feel like this, your whole life has prepared you for this. There is a new beginning, okay, in your life right now, but it's going to take you to make a decision to really push forward, okay, really make this big move, or this big leap of faith, okay? That's what I'm honestly feeling. I feel like your intuition has been telling you this, okay, um, but you're a little nervous because we have the seven of arrows and securities and we have the two of stones. What talks about a challenge? Muffins, my nephew, if you guys hear him in the background, it's summertime, the kids are home <laughs> and they, I'm the favorite aunt. So they all wanna be with me. But anyways, I really feel like it's been a challenge. Your intuition is speaking to you to take this big leap of faith, okay? Um, Libra, but it's a challenge for you. Um, you know, I really feel like this thing or whatever you're going to be doing, deciding to move towards or move from, it really sparks some insecurities in you. I feel like it's a challenge, but know that you are a made for this. Know that you can do this. Okay. And for some of you, it's a move, but also just really moving up in career wise or just moving to something that you truly desire. Know that you were built for this. Okay. And then the last cards. Yeah, look, 
We have the green man what deals with confidence, okay? And then we have the nine of vessels, nine of cups, generosity. Look at all these cups. Look at all this prosperity. Look at all this gold. Look at all this zen, okay? Whatever you're scared about doing, okay? I really feel like when you make the decision to do it, it's really going to um, inspire confidence and you're going to be at peace, all right? You're going to come in a balance, all right? The, your cups are going to really come in, Okay? But it's all about you just trusting yourself. I just feel like it's just you just gotta trust yourself. You just gotta go. You just gotta go with it, Aquarius. Okay. I know that it may be scary because I feel like you're questioning yourself with this thing, but you just gotta go. You just gotta do it. All right. You just gotta do it. You gotta take that big leap of faith. I had to do that. I have to do that a lot in my life. <laughs> okay. But guess what? Guided intuition took a big leap of faith. Do you know how many things came to me telling me no, 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 but I did it. And guess what? It truly pays off. So you listen to your intuition. Take that leap of faith. Okay. Make that big move. All right. Yeah. Because the judgment is going to come out in your favor. All right. This is the, the, it's here to put the judgment card of the traditional tarot deck. This is due to you. Do not let those insecurities or those, or those, you know, whatever situation, okay, throw you off of this. So let's see how spirit wants to open up your spiritual guidance for Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising for the month of June. What would you like to open up with Aquarius? What would you like them to know spirit for the month of June as a collective sun, moon, and rising? What would you like them to know? All right. I'm going to get ready. Last one, and we're going to pick. I can't stand when my hands do that. Ooh, power. See? Look at this. Ooh, and on the bottom of the deck. Good fortune. You're over here worried, Aquarius, for nothing. Okay? This, this is a power move. A big move, a power move. Okay? A leap of faith is what I'm hearing for you. But take it. Take the leap of faith. It's going to pay off. I promise you, you have good fortune here in power. It's all about you tapping into your power. All right. And it's going to bring you some good fortune. So take the leap of faith. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to go ahead and go into your monthly spiritual guidance. All right, Aquarius. So we know that in the month of June, there are going to be, there's a opportunity to really advance. Okay. Um, there's going to be a a big move that you're going to be making, okay? It's going to take a lot, like a leap of faith, okay? A lot of courage, a lot of strength to make this decision and to and, um, move towards it, okay? And that, for some of you, that's in love. For some of you, that's in career. For some of you, it's a physical move. For some of you, it's within yourself. And for some of you, it's all of the above, <laughs> okay? So what we're going to do is just look at what are you going to be thinking about, the things that Spirit is going to be talking to you with and downloading on your heart in the month of June, okay? So the first thing that we have, it's no secret here, moving, okay? Um, there is a desire to move forward. OK, it could be in a relationship. It could be um, in career wise. It could be within yourself. But there is a need to move forward. Aquarius, I feel like a lot of these moves, OK, you're going to make a decision to move. And I feel like it's going to open a lot of doors for you, a lot of great doors. You, It's like a domino effect. I really feel like when you move away from um, fear, doubt, and just really listen to your intuition on the steps that it's telling you to take, okay? Move in the direction it's telling you to go. It's really going to unlock a lot of mystical, magical, beautiful things inside your life. It's going to be like a domino effect. Good thing after good thing, okay? But it's very important that you listen to the guidance that you're being given. Go where it tells you to go. If you've been wanting to leave, if you've been wanting to walk away, if you've been wanting to go, Please listen to your intuition, okay? Because whatever this big move is, whatever this leap, leap of faith that you're going to be taking is really going to pay off, okay? And I just want to let you know that I know that it's nervous, okay? I know that the your nerves are at an all-time high. I know that you may be questioning yourself if you should do this, but I promise you it's really going to pay off. The next thing that's going to be crowning you is your relationship dynamics, okay? This can be in family, love, um, career-wise. It's not sectioned off because 
you know, there's multiple energies here. But just when I say relationship dynamics, think about that person that comes to mind. I really feel like a lot of you are making a decision if you're going to move on, you know, give a thing a try. Um, also, just like family issues or a family dynamic, maybe you're having a little confusion about moving forward just because a family or some situation that's uh, like a like a relationship that's very important to you, okay? You're trying to figure out what you should do, all right? If you should stay, if you should go, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, should you take a chance? Should you move forward? But I really feel like um, that's really going to be crowning you um, this month because you're making a decision. And for a lot of you, you're making a decision to move, move, move somewhere, on a mental, physical, and spiritual level. And I feel like it's it's a big move, okay? It's a big step that you're gonna be taking and you're really gonna be reflecting on your relationships, figuring out is it worth it, should you or should you not, okay? Also, what's gonna be crowning you guys is get some rest, okay? It's, it's very important that you get some rest. I feel like with what's going on, Aquarius, with all this on your mind, I am feeling like a little bit of, you know, maybe feeling like a little bit of um hopeless but i want to let you know let me tell you something when fear comes you gotta push past it you gotta look fear in its eyes and you have to continue on okay this this move that you're making this decision that you're going to make for yourself make it for you make it for you okay aquarius not nobody else make it for you Okay, you're being guided to really get some rest. Take care of yourself. Put yourself first. Make sure that you're really g giving your body the time that it needs to rejuvenate, okay? Ground yourself so you can really stand tall, okay, and move forward. Um, believe it or not, we have support here. I really feel like you have a lot of support around you on the spiritual um, plane and in the natural, okay? Don't be afraid to talk to a friend about it, okay? Or express yourself. Uh, ask for help because it's there. And whether it's not a physical person, call in your angels, call in your guides, okay? But you have the support. If you need that extra strength to really go forth with something, okay? Just call out and ask for it. It's available to you. So now we're going to be looking at a major energy or something major that's going to be happening to you this month. Okay, so listen. Despite what may be going on, you may be a little nervous about moving forward or doing something. But I feel like you're going to be listening to your intuition. Okay, you're really going to be ent um, entering a season of your life. Okay, a new beginning. And the thing about this is, I really feel like this new beginning happened. Um, Aquarius, like after everything fell down. Okay. So you have the opportunity to listen to your intuition. I really feel like no matter what, okay, you're going to get to where you have to go. Cause I feel like it's a part of your purpose is a, it's a part of your destiny. Okay. There are a lot of connections, a lot of, um, a lot of things that are waiting on you to, to make this move. Okay. For, like I said, for some of you, it's physical for some, it's, it's for some of you, it's spiritual. It's you moving to an actual place, moving away from a person, place thing situation, but it's requiring you to make a decision to take a leap of faith and move. You're making big moves this month. Okay. And I really feel like that's because you're in tune with your, um, intuition and being that you're doing that you have the wheel of fortune flowing in your favor it's pulling you away from heartache betrayal past hurts whatever you're leaving all that behind you okay and i really feel like you're coming into the inference right now when you make this decision okay listen you're throwing the past out you're leaving the past behind you and i know that it may be a, i think it's kind of nervous for you to like really take a leap of faith because we have the page of pentacles it's a pentacle but it's immature so maybe you don't have all the details worked out maybe you don't have everything but you do have your intuition and listen to your intuition whatever your intuition is telling you i promise you it's the truth okay so it's very important that you listen to your intuition this month you know because you're sitting at the inference energy, but I, I don't feel like you're feeling like it. You're sitting at the inference energy. 
Like I don't I don't feel like you're 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 feeling it right now, but I promise you, when you make this move, when you make this decision, everything's going to come into balance. So, I want to see what's going on for love for you, okay? So, I really feel like some of you are being guided to keep an open mind. Maybe once you make this decision, okay? Um I really feel like you are going to come into the love that you desire to come. Whether it's with another person, a person that you know, okay, or a person wants you move out of whatever situation we've been talking about, okay? And I really feel like this relationship holds a lot of passion, okay? So sorry, guys. Even though this person does not look like or, you know, think or act a certain way that usual type that you're um, attracted to, I promise you, um, this person is definitely well worth it. Now, what's funny is we had getting to know each other, but it was reversed. So I really feel like you don't know, you haven't met this person yet. This person is really going to come in your life, Aquarius, when you make this move, when you make this decision, when you take this leap of faith. I feel like this is why it has to happen no matter what, because this, this person is a part of your purpose. So you really making this leap of faith, this was something that you were destined to do. I feel like this is when you guys will meet each other, okay? We also have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, but it was reversed. So I feel like as soon as you make this decision, this move, it's when you're really going to meet this person. I really feel like that what may may be the delay, okay? Because you, you need to think. I feel like it's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, a lot of, you know, goodness, <laughs> all right, in this um, relationship, okay? Um, we also have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the lovers, all right, and we have the seven of pentacles and the seven of cups, okay? So we know that the um, cups deal with emotions. I really feel like this relationship, this person that's coming in your life or if you've already met them, if you already made this decision, made this, took this big leap of faith, um, I feel like you're a little nervous, okay? Because when it comes to relationships, you could probably find yourself a little confused, Okay, um, but I promise you, this relationship is well worth it. Maybe you feel like your finances, for some of you, I'm feeling like your finances aren't where you desire them to be. You are going through this list of why, 10,000 reasons why this is the wrong time for this. But I promise you, um, this is a gift, okay? You've earned this gift. It's just about you really taking the time and energy to, um, you know, help it grow, water it. You get what I'm saying? What she's doing right here with the seven of pentacles. Um, yeah, you know, just come out of your emotions by grounding yourself, okay, by taking a leap of faith. Maybe this is what you need to take the leap of faith on, okay? And I feel like when you do that, you're going to come out with the victory with the six, six of wands, okay? So that's what I'm feeling about love for the month of June. Now we're just going to look at any information that you need to know this month that's going to ultimately help you get more fulfillment. So the first thing that we have is worry, okay? I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So really giving up any worry, like any second guess and overanalyzing will be very beneficial for you in the month of June. We also have you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So listen, just go with the flow. Okay, what whatever decision that you have to make this big move or this leap of faith that you have to take, I need you to know that you lack nothing. Okay, you have whatever it is, everything's going to be provided, it's going to meet you there. Okay, so don't worry about it. You're also being guided to trust the nigel. What is the um the niggling feeling trying to tell you? This is trust your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? Flow with your intuition this month. I promise you, and it's really going to take you and help you through some difficult decisions, okay, that's really gonna open a lot of beautiful doors for you, okay, Aquarius? So the word that spirit really wants you to keep at the forefront of your mind is inspiration, okay, and nourishing. When you're thinking, when you're reflecting, think about these words before you react, before you, you know, move forward. Um, understand that right now where you are, 
in your life. It's all about nourishing you, pouring into you, loving you, giving you your all, okay? Also, keep your dreams and your aspirations at the forefront of your mind when you are making decisions, when you're thinking, okay? Because you are manifesting a new reality, okay? <laughs> Aquarius. So I love you guys so freaking much. It was such an honor to read for you, beautiful souls. I hope that this has brought you some clarity and some understanding, and I will catch you on my channel. As always, I love you guys. Take care.